What's up, YouTube Skate Fam? I'm here in Loveland, Colorado. Today, I'm going to teach you how to acid drop roll in. Let's get into it. Go! <laughs> So here's the foot position for roll in. You want the foot, that rear foot, on the tail enough so that you can lift the nose over the coping, but you don't want it so much to where it's gonna pop off. Um, it's basically my riding position. Everyone's riding position is a little bit different, but this is my riding position. The foot's kind of in the pocket, right where the tail starts, and the front foot is over the front bolts. Okay, a good way to start is with a crack in the sidewalk. These shouldn't be too hard to find um, on sidewalks or at the skate park. I was able to find a few subtle ones. I actually used two different ones. What I want you to notice is as I approach the crack, I lift the wheels. Um, and in some cases, I actually might let the front wheels bonk but I do consciously press on the tail to lift the front wheels. And, and I do sort of a ghost ollie where as soon as that front is lifted, I actually, you can watch the body dip down and kind of leaps up a little bit. I actually pull the rear leg up and then as the rear wheels hit the crack, it sends the board to connect with my feet. All right, it's time to do an actual roll in. So I found the smallest transition and I want you to notice how nothing changes. It's going to be identical to what we did on the crack. As I lift the front wheels over the coping, it is okay to let them bonk. I tend to lift right before they hit. I press on the tail and then lift the foot. As the rear wheels pass over the coping, it sends the board back up to my feet and simultaneously, while in the air, I'm getting my shoulders and feet in alignment with the transition. You want to land in the transition as if you were on flat ground. You don't want to be dipped in too forward to nosedive, wheel bite nosedive, and you don't want to be leaning too far back and wash out. Both of those will result in a slam. Here's a string of them in real time. Okay, I added a fly out to the deck and I'm showing you the same roll in from a different angle. Okay, this next one is a little tricky because while it is the next level up, the transition is quicker, it's steeper, which doesn't give you much time to land in the transition. What happens is you wanna get enough speed so that you get over the coping. That's one really good tip is make sure you have speed to clear the coping. If you don't, you are definitely going to hang up. I would rather go in a little too deep into the transition, even hit flat, as you'll see me almost do here, than I would have a hang up. Because if you hang up and clip those rear wheels, you will go flying forward into the transition or worse, into flat. All right, now we're gonna get into a little bit of bigger transition. It starts to get real because if you clip at this level, um, you, you're going to get hurt. There's a really good chance, even if you wear pads, but uh, it gets more exciting and nothing changes. You wanna have the right speed lift, let the back wheels bump as you lift the foot, and then you get your shoulders and feet set in alignment with the transition and you land on the board you can put the feet down a little bit simply because you did lift both of them up and this gravity pushes you back down towards the transition it's okay to stick it but you don't want to stick too early because if you reach for transition and it's not there um, you're going to slam so make sure you hold it until you know when you put those wheels down you're going to make contact with the transition Something else I should add is that the more runway you have, the better. You don't wanna be pushing right before you're supposed to be on the board and lifting the nose. You wanna have your speed, have a straight shot if possible, and be able to be set and confident. Worst thing you can do is approach the coping with not enough speed, and that's gonna result in a hang up. So make sure you have some runway. 
Okay, so what I did was I tried to get a roll in at many different angles for you. Um, here's me at another park doing some roll ins at different angles and speeds. Enjoy. Something else to note is just as you want runway headed straight for the coping, you also want to stay in alignment with your landing. So your shoulders, your entire body, everything should be in alignment with the way your board is going when you land. And that should be straightforward if you're doing the acid drop roll in, which is what we're instructing on today. And once you get comfortable with the crack in the sidewalk, doing this on smaller transition, and moving into larger transitions, what you'll find is that it's going to translate over into other tricks. Here's a few small spine transfers and fly out to roll ins. In some cases, I find the spine transfers easier than the roll in because you get that launch up and it's easier to clear the back wheels. Um, if you have enough speed, you're not gonna hang up on a spine transfer. And then it's a matter of learning how to position the shoulders and the feet and the hips in alignment with the transition before you put the wheels down and stick the landing. All right, YouTube Skate Fam, so there you have it. That is how you acid drop roll in. Key points were make sure you have speed, make sure you have runway. You don't want too much speed, you need enough speed to get over that coping. Once you lift the front, then you kind of ghost ollie, lift the back, the coping will throw the rear wheels and uh, tail to your rear foot. Then you get your shoulders, hips, and feet in alignment with the transition. From there, once gravity has taken you down, you stick the landing and roll away in the same motion. You wanna be in the exact same direction that your deck is going. So you should stay horizontal, going straight with the board. From there, it's gonna translate into other tricks. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If there's any trick tips you wanna see, also drop it in the comments. Really appreciate you. Get out there and learn how to roll in. It's a really fun trick and a great way to start off your line with a ton of speed. Go! Yeah.